friends, Robin here with Mattman and Robin, and I am at Daiso. Um, I just finished volunteering at the Dallas Distribution Center, and so if you are traveling from far away and want to go to Daiso while you're at the Distribution Center, I have come to the closest one, which is inside the Grapevine Mills Mall. Um, this mall is actually quite fun. There's a lot of like Lego land and a sea, little like sea life area. It would be a lot of fun for a big group. Um, there's also a really cool movie theater here. So if you wanted to kind of make um, a day out of it after volunteering, I would recommend visiting Daiso and the, um, the entire mall here. So let's go in and see what we can find. Now, Please bear with me as I am not used to vlogging like this. We will go in and see what we can find and I'm going to try to keep it as steady as possible. So this is what Daiso looks like. It's very clean and uh, most everything in here is going to be a dollar fifty. So here is the price conversion chart. Um, items without a price are a dollar fifty and then here is how you convert the prices that we will see on everything else, but most everything in here is $1.50. Um, and as you can tell, there's just so many fun little things that you can get for your shoe boxes. Um, here is the Christmas section. And then here is the beauty section, which we will skip. Um, there's an entire Hello Kitty section, which is so much fun. And I know that some of you are doing Hello Kitty boxes, so if you see a Daiso, this is where to get the Hello Kitty stuff. Here is the wall of bags. Um, this is bathroom stuff, which is still a lot of fun, but most of this does not apply to Christmas boxes. This does, however. Um, here are brushes, really great, great quality. For example, right here, this item says that it is 200 yen, and so we would just look here at this price converter and see that it is actually going to cost us three US dollars. But everything else, most everything else over here is $1.50. There's combs and hair scissors and hair accessories and here is bath stuff and I just wanted to show you they finally have in my soap savers that I love. They come two to a bag. I love these. Um, this is not a Daiso that I frequent. It's pretty far from my home but um, I, when I do my haul I'm definitely going to grab some of those. Even if we can't do soap next year. Um, Matt and I use them in our home. Um, here is more medical things and the toothbrushes, which she's putting up right now. I'll try to show you guys those in a minute. Little containers. Here is the amazing pin section. Let's see if I can find my favorite pin at this Daiso. Um, it's not looking like it. Bummer. Oh, well, here is similar, except these are just two in a package. The one that I like comes three to a package. Um, it seems like, so as you can tell, like this is the Daiso packaging. It even has the Daiso brand. But more and more, they're having in this packaging, which is obviously American packaging. And so I am hoping that they will continue to carry the Japanese pins that I like and not just these um, down here, these American pins. But there's lots of really cute pencil cap erasers and some sharpeners up there, um, lots of highlighters and brick pins and gel pins and everything you could think of. Is, this is a great aisle for all things Operation Christmas Child. Here is the beginning of the toy section, which I admit is a little bit lackluster here. 
um, they're not that great of toys. I prefer Dollar Tree toys. But here are the options um, behind me. Here are the, um, the different storage bags that I use. This is my favorite size. So I get 45 for a dollar 50 here. Um, these are little tiny storage bags. These are giant storage bags, but I think these are great. Um, I get this size down here that comes for 15 for my um, large filler items that I put paper in as well. Um, this one, I believe, would also fit just uh, pencils if you were looking for that. Um, let's see here. Trying to respect people's privacy and go in aisles where no one is. Here's the office supply section. So they have some scissors and box, which we can't do box cutters, but I'm just showing you what is available at Daiso. Here are the scissors, and these are all $1.50, unless otherwise noted. This one's fun. So you get six in one, one scissor with changeable blades. That would be a lot of fun for a craft kit. Um, here are different staplers and different calculators. Just some really, really great stuff available at Daiso. These are a lot of fun. These are petite blocks, so they're much, much smaller than Legos, not compatible with Legos or the Legos at Dollar Tree. Um, they are teeny, teeny, tiny, but would be a lot of fun for a 10 to 14 year old boy. They have dinosaurs and birds um, and beetles and people. Here's some more of their options. Here, this is the paper aisle. Look at all the paper. After serving at the volunteer center today, I just wanna buy this whole aisle, all the paper. <sighs> um, because guys, there was such a need for paper. But here are different notebooks up top. And smaller notebooks. Really cute. Let's see what's, what the inside of this looks like. Oh, it's a calendar. Here's a spiral. This looks like just sectioned off lined paper. Um, and then these are more like notebooks. Okay, that sweet family has moved on to another section so I can show you the toys that are available. Um, like I said, it's hit or miss, the toys here. Um, I would not recommend their beach balls or their, their fake Barbie dolls. However, these are stellar. This is amazing. These would not fit Barbie. They're really little, but this is great. Um, the clothes are decent quality. They would be a little too small for Barbie, but if you have other petite dolls, um, there is some slinky unicorns down here. These look interesting. 3D puzzle kits. Um, set of bouncy balls. These look really cool. These are wind-up toys, so they would be $1.50 each. And they're really good quality. They're not like kitschy carnival ones. Um, and then that is really it for the toys. Like I said, there are a few in there that look like gems, but for the most part, I would pass. Um, another section for storage items. If you are looking to store things throughout the year, more storage boxes. Uh, this is like the art section. So over here, there are cork boards and white boards and um, white board write erase markers and mini white board erasers, big erasers, 
even bigger erasers. This is a whiteboard notebook. That's really interesting, intriguing. Um, these are too big for boxes. Um, and I have tried out this chalkboard paper. Do not recommend, not, it didn't work. Um, but here is a whiteboard that is 11 by seven. So this would definitely fit in a box. It actually would be a great size to go down in a box. So I might be getting one of those. So turn, here's some paint brushes and some really cute sketchbooks. This also looks like a great size for a shoebox. And other art supplies, more just different styles of paper for different types of art. This, I love these. These are Daiso erasers. So, of course, up top we have the cakes, cookies and stuff that I prefer not to put in boxes, but they're so cute, look at these so adorable again I don't put them in boxes but that's just a personal preference they are not restricted um, here are the puppy dog I put this in a box earlier this year some little chickadees these little erasers are adorable so it's just they just have so many options um, all the way down here to these little ponies and these are little vehicles more animals these these are very impressive I that's really cool dinosaurs um, and I can show you on this one up here they're actually puzzles see that giraffe's head has popped off so they have created them to be like puzzles here is the craft aisle so a lot of great Items if you're going to make a craft kit for $1.50, you can't beat it. Um, they have some paper punches and some decorative stickers. Here is the wall of washi. So you get um, in most of them three or four washi for $1.50. This one has 10 washi, so a lot of fun washi. And over here, and you try to turn your way slowly, would be items for a sewing kit. Just lots of things you can include. Buttons and random things to add to a sewing kit. This is the dog section. So, a lot of fun, really cute, but made for animals which i suppose a ball is a ball so it doesn't matter who gets this this would be a great toy um this too that one gives a little squeak here is the rest of the items for the sewing kits with all the different needles shapes and sizes this is where i get my um, safety pins and some embroidery thread that is light like laid out flat um, this is where i get my embroidery floss for my marble kits just a lot of really great things if you're going to make a sewing kit some really fun thread even um zippers Let's see i don't see any eyelet threaders. I don't see that in bulk here. Um, but that's about the only thing. You can get them in an entire sewing kit here and here. Again, great, great quality at Daiso. Um, these are some felting kits. If you want to include that or some basket making kits. I've never seen these craft kits before. That's really cool. Here is a little weaving loom for yarn. Um, and then behind here are some electronic devices, um, just accessories for your electronics. Here is the flashlight section. 
one. I did have a viewer tell me that they came to one and bought all the flashlights. So, let's see. Here they are, down here. So, there are, there are still the flashlights here, the pump flashlights. This one is also really cool. It's a spring light. It pumps on and off just when you push it. They also have tools for a great toolkit. Mallets and tweezers and working gloves. And then behind here are some really great zipper bags. Um, I think they're actually for gaming materials, but this would be a great pencil bag. It is the 200 yen here, so it would be $3. Um, just other little gadgets. So cool. Um, trying not to go too fast, but I'm also trying not to drag it out. Okay, so this is the section where I look for whistles. Uh, they also have these folding forks and spoons and these really cool survival cups. Um, I am not seeing my survival whistle that I like to include from time to time, but they do have, oh, it's a, this is a bag that has a, uh, a mat that folds out in it. There are some collapsible water bottles. This would be great to include in a box um, in case they have to walk far to get their water. They could carry a lot back with them. There is a camping hammock, a magnifying glass. So fun, like I could buy the whole store and still have things to buy. Here is a, a collapsible cup in there. Um, and then the side is more um, stuff for your vehicle, so not really applicable to Operation Christmas Child. Um, but here are some multi-tools. So this one would not be allowed because it has a knife in it. However, this one does not have any blade, so this would be allowed. And this one has no blade. So you just have to be careful which ones you pick. Here are the great things that they have available for fishing kits. Um, I love it because they come in, I think, the right quantities and the right sizes to make a fishing kit. You could even include the lure if you wanted to. Um, I guess they would have to have their own rod, but... Then there's some garden items, which again doesn't really pertain. But here is a cute section. This is the bandanas that I get from time to time. There is Disney princesses, um, Minnie and Mickey, and Pusan. That's what they call him in Japan. Uh, Poo and Tigger. Here are more drawstring bags. These are plastic, so I don't um, include them, but they are really cute. These are actual drawstring bags that could be purchased. Super adorable in all these different characters. Um, there are some packable Disney reusable bags, some Disney stickers, Disney toolboxes, which could be a box inside of a box. Um, here is the Disney um, blank drawing pads, so cute. More, just a lot of Disney items, papers, and um, sticky notes, and erasers, and pins. I love these click pins. There's Mickey, and Buzz, and Woody over there, and Piglet. So cute. Right here, there are some more Disney items. These are collapsible containers, so they fold down really little. Here are Disney-specific 
Ziploc baggies. Um, you better believe your girl has this one at home. I love Daisy Duck in case, in case anyone is wondering. <laughs> Here are some more packable bags. Here's what it looks like all folded out. Let me see if I can get a better view of that for you. Someone undid one. So they are large and they are really good quality and they're nice and thick. Um, they will last a really long time. They're not flimsy at all whatsoever. Here are some really cute Disney wash rags that I absolutely love. So fun. So cute. Um, I really like getting wash rags here because in Japan they take them to school and everybody has their own wash rags instead of using paper towels. Sorry, we're having an, an announcement. I hope you guys heard that. So anyway, in Japan they take their own school towel instead of having reusable towels and they put their names on them but they come with these hooks which I think is fantastic, fabulous. So I like to get towels here when I can find them in that style. Uh, but here's just some more, look at these plastic spoons and forks. They are plastic but they are not the same kind of um, disposable plastic that we have they're very very thick in here so you could definitely utilize these in boxes um, they are reusable here are some Disney rubber bands um, there are also some house shoes here and here is the raw wood items in case you wanted to make a craft kit Maybe they'll have my boxes, y'all. Oh my gosh, my heart would be so happy if I just randomly found my boxes. Um, I don't see them here, but this is the section they would probably be in if they had them. We'll keep looking. They have plastic boxes in several different areas in Daiso. Um, but then on this aisle, I think the only thing that would pertain would be some hooks in case you wanted to include these kind of hooks in your boxes. They just have an entire wall of different options of hooks in case that's something you're interested in. Um, let's see what else. These are laundry bags, which could be a good addition to a box. Um, this is placemats and carpets. Here are some more bags um, and hats. There is a compass. That would be a great idea or a little lock to help the child secure their items. I'm not seeing the reusable foldable backpacks that I get here. Here are more plastic containers that they have. Um, these are great boxes, but they're pretty big. I, I think that they are too big for boxes, but if that's your game, they're great quality here. Um, these also are good quality. Down here, where's my hand? There it is, okay. Down here, but they're too small. Those are just like the little Ikea ones. So, it doesn't look like they have my favorite box, but We'll keep looking. They will have it one day. Um, this is shoe items, so you could get shoelaces. Um, oh, look, 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 look. Oh my gosh, they have some. I'm going to buy them all. Um, they are marked 200 yen. At my local one, they sell these for $2, but I do not mind paying three. I will be getting all three of these boxes. They are coming home with me right now. Um, let's see. 
I'm gonna try to carry these while I continue to film. You know what, I'll come back and get them at the end of my little video. Um, here are more kitchen items. This is hangers and more laundry bags. A great associate helping the customer. A cleaning area. Lots of scrubbers. Then we have started in on the um, kitchen containers. So these are all the plastic kitchen containers, which also, you know, this down here might be a great size for a shoe box. Um, rubber gloves. And kitchen baggies, which are also a really great price here. Kitchen sponges. plastic tablecloths and this has started the kitchen section with glass and breakable items um, another really great thing about Daiso are all the yummy snacks so um, that would be just for you personally if you come and I suggest that you try them because when else are you gonna find hot garlic shrimp chips yeah, no, only here. Um, and I think that we have made it back up to the front. Some more ginger chews. Ha! Um, they also have some really fun kitchen gadgets just for you. Or if you wanted to make a cooking box, that could be a great idea. Um, how cute is this spatula? You know, to teach a girl maybe 10 to 14 some culinary arts skills. Oh look, I missed this somehow. Stickers. So there are some great foam stickers and individual washi tape style stickers. These would be um, sticker sheets. Really great sticker items. And then here are those booklets that I love to get which um, are like color forms. Yes, so they're restickable stickers. There's trucks and dinosaurs and sea life. A different sea life. I haven't seen this one. Um, zoo animals and a different dinosaur packet. Um, so those are the stickers. Here are, I think they have jump ropes too but I missed them somewhere. Those aren't jump ropes, those are like stretchy, stretchy things. Um, lunchbox items. I have put this in a couple of boxes. It's a tackable spoon. Um, what else? I also have put in some other tackable utensils. Let me see, maybe I missed them over here. No, I'm not seeing them. But this is where I did get the um, the utensils that came packed in. It's like a fork and a spoon and a set of chopsticks. I got it here at Daiso. But um, I do think that that is the end of the tour. The rest of this is snacks, which you should definitely come and check out. Um, so. I just want to say to you guys, in case no one has said it, um, I love you lots. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.